Well, that's not good. But to make things look better, how about I show you a video of my kids and cute dog? Girl. Alright. Much better. But you saw the scale 320 and some change. Terrible. I know. Last video I was gonna get back on track. Didn't happen. Life happens. Discipline not there. Although I thought I kinda was gonna be on track <laughs> because last Tuesday. I was sick as a dog. Didn't eat for two days. I was like, oh yeah, I'm good. No, I'm not good. Uh, so, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take you through however many days it takes me to get back into ketosis. However long it is, I don't know. Is it gonna be one day? Nope, two days, probably not. Three, possibly four. That's what I'm hoping for. I'm aiming for four days. Today's Tuesday, so Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. By Saturday, I hope to be back in ketosis. Get this weight loss started because, guys, I'm turning 30 in January 24th. 30. So, I'm gonna make sure. I'm just trying to quit being fat. It's getting, it's getting fall soon. I gotta make sure my, my, my shirts fit because, honestly, I ain't too confident, which is terrible. Um, so, I've recorded all the meals I've had so far today. So let's start for breakfast. There was no breakfast. Had coffee, heavy cream. Didn't measure, haven't measured anything today. So I'm probably one just to show you, hey, you can still do this and not measure anything. So for breakfast, had coffee, heavy cream. And I think I only had one, I say one cup. It's like 30 ounces of coffee <laughs> or it's like 20, 20 ounces of coffee. So that's a lot of coffee. And then for lunch, I had some Hobby Suspect smoked pork from at least a week old. <laughs> but I wasn't about to waste that. So I mean, I put some of the G Hughes barbecue sauce in it. Amazing, tasty, and some mustard, and a little tanginess, a little extra tanginess. And how much of it was it? I don't know, it, at least 10 ounces. I mean, a massive amount of smoked pork. I finished it off, it's, it's gone, it's out of there. And then, Dinner, chicken fajitas on top of pork rinds. Game changer if you don't know about the, the pork rinds instead of tortilla chips. It's amazing. So, did I want to eat some extra stuff today? Oh my gosh. The cravings are unreal. But I just got pounding water. Had some tea. I'm a tea drinker, so some some Earl Grey tea. Listen, if you never had Earl Grey tea, that is amazing. So, Earl Grey tea. Uh, what's the other tea I had? I just call it black tea. I mean, it had some little spices in it. Good stuff. So the plan is, you know, take the meals. That's it. Show you how easy it is to do keto. And so, as you saw, a lot of a lot of meat involved here. I was hoping on making some breakfast for dinner. It didn't happen. I'm doing it tomorrow though, because I've had eggs in a while. You know, it's bad when I'm not eating the eggs. Usually, I'm smashing like a, two, three dozen in a week. So, that's what we got for today. It's day one. Day one. Check back with y'all tomorrow. Day two. Let's do this. I'm tired of being fat. Also, took the beer game going. Look at that. Ooh. There we go. Got a little something, something. Yeah. It takes me out. No joke. I just shave like once a week. So, this is, uh, it's going to take me a while to fill in. But, I'm going for it. Got the beard oil. I'm good. It's a random note. Just random. Just throw it out there. Just throw it out there. Six pounds difference than yesterday. I think that's six exact. So needless to say, a whole lot of water. And so let me, let me share this with you. Between, uh, let's say, say midnight and 6 a.m., I had to pee four times. I mean, it was unreal. Gosh, I was, so I didn't get the best sleep because I was up like every two hours. 
we're not talking small amounts of pee. I mean, I'm like, I'll leave with it. So, yeah. Not a word of loss. Let's get this day started. I gotta freshen up. A little stanky. All right, it's Tuesday afternoon. Actually, my lunch break. Don't know if you all are aware, but there's this zero net carb bread that Aldi, I guess, is rolled out. I don't know, everywhere, but some stores at least. Zero carb bread. We'll see if our, our Aldi has it. So, you know, I'm not about, you know, these replacement foods, but if you want a sandwich, you don't want to do like a low carb tortilla, here you go. Got you some bread, but we'll see if we'll find some. Hopefully, because I want to. I'm gonna try this egg sandwich technique I saw online today. Yeah, I'm stupid, but let's see if they got it. Well, that ain't goes plan. They didn't have any, but if they did have some almonds, <laughs> spot some of those, definitely gonna be eating some of those. And also, they had some ribs on sale. I love me some ribs. I mean, I probably ate, we probably made ribs like four times in a month. It's great stuff, but yeah, I mean, all these prices are nice, so never been. I suggest you go at least once just to look around. It looks way better than it used to. They've updated and stuff, so good stuff. Check back with you soon. Day three, about to be in the books. So, what I eat today, keeping it simple, I gotta remember. Oh, importance of meal, oh, importance of meal prep. So, the last two days I had, you know, hamburger, um, pulled pork, all that stuff was already cooked, ready to go, but today I didn't have anything. So I had to scrounge up, looked around, this is why you buy extra stuff when you don't think you need it. So I had some sardines chilling in the pantry. Not everybody's cup of tea because of fish for one. But I like them. Got the wild planet. I get fancy with my sardines. You know, sustainably sourced. Good quality fish. So had some of that. This all I'll show you the you know what I had, you know. So I had the sardines. I cooked up three eggs and some curry goat butter. And then I had some of those almonds. One thing of note, this eggs and any kind of grass-fed butters makes it, makes it so much tastier, so delicious. And two, those almonds, let me tell you, I shouldn't have bought those. Dangerous, I crushed them. I mean, I crushed them yesterday, crushed them today. I just need to stop eating those. It's way too many calories. But however, the scale was still moving. It's moving down, that's all that matters. But yeah, almonds are rough. It's, it's so tasty. Salted almonds are so tasty. Um, and then for dinner, had the chicken fajitas again from, what day was that? Oh, I think Wednesday, yeah. So I just ate that in a bowl, some some cream, so sorry, sour cream and cheese. That's it, simple. Uh, that's, I mean, that's all I had, so this is day three. I haven't tested my ketones. I don't even know if I should, you know. I don't, it's really not, a good, I guess not a good time of day, but I'll do it tomorrow night. That way I know for sure, you know, if I've had some fat in me, I've had some food. I worked out today, first time in uh, almost two weeks. I'm already feeling it, I'm so sore. My butt and legs, oh my gosh, you're killing me. Those lunges, I hate them. Uh, but yeah, had that, those were, Working out will affect the ketone levels. By then, if I was even ninky toasted, it would be rebounded by now. But yeah, that's all I got. Let's go on day four. Let's see, how I usually I'll eat breakfast in the mornings, but I meet up with some guys every Friday. So I'm eating some breakfast. Don't know if I'll be able to show you that. And I'm like, well, what are you doing? I'm like, oh, I'm just filling my food for a second. 
but usually we got, we got Cracker Barrel. I get the, what's it called? Double meat platter. So it's sausage, bacon, and eggs. Delicious. That's all I get. You know, it usually comes with the biscuits and the gravy and grits. All those are very nice things, but no, not today. No, not tomorrow, I should say. So we'll see what goes on tomorrow. I have no idea what we're eating for dinner. Might be crack slaw. Definitely crack slaw. Oh, now just remember, you know, when I was sick, you know, I had some stomach issues, a lot of diarrhea, TMI. It was terrible. But I still feel kind of weird. Stomach's at the bottom, like, not in my stomach area. It's like lower intestines. Son. It feels kind of weird. It's kind of, like, kind of hurts, maybe not. I don't know. It just feels funky, but still got that going on. I'm wondering if it was the almonds, but then again, I had it before the almonds. I don't know what's going on, but next time y'all see me, hopefully I will have some cut hair because this thing is a hot mess. I mean, can you see it? It's kind of crazy from when I worked out, but yeah, I cut my own hair. See y'all on Friday. Peace. Also, I just remembered, I went with a hunt for some Rebel Creamery ice cream. Uh, Kroger has it in stores now, but they didn't have it in my store. You know, I saw it, saw the labels, didn't see it because I wanted to try it out because I've only had it once. That was when Goody Beats released this limited edition flavor and it was tasty. So I figured the other ones would be tasty, but not in stores, sad face. However, I did get some enlightened ice cream, so I may be eating that. I mean, don't quote me. Not all of it. Just a little bit. Because those almonds it shot my levels up a little bit. My carbs up a little bit, so. Might get a little bit of that, but I don't know. Kind of just some hot tea, because I don't really need to be eating that. But, I don't know. All right, day four, I'm back. Like I said for yesterday, this morning I had eggs, bacon, sausage, delicious. But then all week I've been having to stand off with a Quest bar that I bought like weeks ago. So, in order to counteract eating all the breakfast, I had uh, that Quest bar and the rest of those almonds for lunch. And right now I'm starving. That's why I just skipped breakfast because I go too carbs, go too heavy with the calories, can't eat lunch, gotta wait for dinner. So, rather just skip breakfast altogether. So, I'm gonna test our ketones today, see where we are. Got my, my uh, we call this Lansing device. There we go. I always forget how to do this thing. Oh, there it is. I don't test often because I don't, for one, I don't think it's that necessary. And two, I don't want to just keep spending for the test strips. Got the keto coach. Probably seen it online everywhere. Let's see where we are. Make sure you get that good blood flow. Blood is flowing. It's not too bad. Gotta make sure I get enough though. I may have pricked too far on the side of my finger. Ah, got it. Well, let's see where we are. Four, three, two, one. One point oh, hey! in ketosis all right didn't expect that honestly so uh oh in-laws are here gotta wrap this bad boy up let's close the door real quick so there we go four days back into ketosis actually 1.0 is probably the highest I've, one of the highest i've ever tested and this was not optimal diet keep in mind i had a quest bar i had some I had like Three teas, uh, probably three tablespoons of the ice cream I was telling y'all about because my wife crushed it. <laughs> I was like, oh, thanks for sharing. But yeah, some Quest bars, 
not optimal, but it gets the job done better than a candy bar. You know, ate out once, but eggs, bacon, and sausage can't really mess that up too bad. And, you know, simple foods, just ground beef, a lot of ground beef, um, just protein on protein and some fats. You notice I didn't have the meaty vegetables. You might, what about fiber? Well, you can't poop. Nope, poop fine. So there it is. Fiber is overrated. People think way, probably eat way too much of it. But tonight the plan is hot dogs, which is not the greatest. Mm, some chili. Hope there's not beans in it. Mm. What else is here? Something. I don't know. Oh, some rotel dip. Uh, gosh, terrible decisions. They're my food. In-laws cooked. Um, so thanks for watching. Back on track. Still losing our weight. See you next video. So I realized I forgot to mention that if you have never seen my videos before, although I'm still 300 plus pounds, I've been doing keto for like three years. Got some eating issues, clearly, but you know, take me four days to get back into ketosis. Maybe even three. I didn't check though, but your mileage, your results will vary. So I kept it pretty low carb first couple days. Last couple of days been kind of loose, but I'm still in a good spot. So just want to keep that in mind. My dog, she loves licking people. So again, thanks for watching. See you in the next video. And bye bye.